ProMaster Home Repair and Handyman of Cincinnati. You know, gutter cleaning is one of those home maintenance tasks that's necessary, but not so much fun. So why don't you join me outside and I'm going to show you how to reduce gutter cleaning by installing some downspout screens and gutter guards. All right, two products I want to show you briefly that will help you keep those gutters clean and uh, reduce the number of times you got to get up on this ladder and dig all those twigs and leaves out of there. The first is called a gutter strainer. Simply looks like this, sometimes labeled a downspout strainer. And it's just simply a little aluminum device here that uh, acts as a screen. You can see that there and you put that down inside the gutter and that'll block leaves or any kind of debris from getting in that downspout and then collecting in that downspout as you can see behind me and clogging up the downspout or the drain. The second item, and many folks have heard of these, these are uh, a lot of times referred to, referred to as gutter guards. They come in a variety of styles. It seems like every company out there claims that theirs is the, theirs is the best. I'm not a huge fan of gutter guards uh, for a lot of reasons, which I won't describe here, but there is a time and a place for them. And a lot of times that time is in an area of gutters that are really subject to a lot of leaves and debris that falls. Uh, here, here at my own home, right, that you see right behind us, we've, uh, we've got a situation where we've got a lot of trees overhead and uh, I have to get up here about three or four times in the fall to clean them out. So I'm gonna put up a couple of these gutter guards just to slow down that process. But what's key here is I'm using a style that are easily removed so I can snap them on and off so that if debris does get behind them, I can just easily remove them, get inside there and clean the gutters out. But hopefully this will reduce it to uh, maybe one time a year instead of three. All right, let's get up on the ladder and I'll show you how to put these two items in. Now you can see that this gutter, which I just cleaned out a few weeks ago, is already full of leaves again. And you'll be able to see here in a moment that given that there's no strainer in that downspout, any of those leaves can make their way right down that downspout and clog up that downspout all the way to the drain. So let's clean these leaves out first and then we'll install the strainer. I don't know if you can see here, what I did with that uh, strainer is I kind of molded it to resemble a rectangle because you'll notice that that is the shape of that downspout. So once I do that, then I can just take the downspout, kind of push it down, down the drain, and it just fits in there with tension, okay, just like so. And that'll prevent any leaves or debris from making its way down there and make it real easy for me to, to pull that out. Okay, let's get the gutter guard next. Now it's going to be kind of hard for me to hold the camera with one hand and install these with another. So I've, I've put one in already. They simply, the, the, the way these go in is you just have to pull the shingle up just a little bit. You can see I'm just gently undoing the adhesive there on that shingle. And what we're going to do is slide that gutter guard right underneath the shingle and then clip the other end right to the gutter very simple. So let's go ahead and put it in. Okay, you can see what I've done is now I've slipped this next guard underneath that shingle. It can just kind of slide loosely like that. Then I'll line it up with the one next to it. And then what I'm going to do is work my way down, simply snapping the end of the gutter guard onto the gutter. Kind of requires two hands, so it'd be kind of difficult for me to show you, but I'll show you here on the end how easy it would be. You just snap it in like so. Now, quick note on these. If you're in an area with high winds, you can drill holes. You know, just put, uh, put a hole in, maybe uh, a third of the way down on each end, like maybe here, and uh, put a little screw in there and that'll keep these things in. But again, I like the snap-on kind because I can remove them to simply get inside there and clean out any debris that may have gotten in. All right, all right. so you can see how we've snapped them in, aligned them flush, so that way the water will come straight down off the shingles, hit the guard, any of the water uh, that's coming off the roof will go right through this screen in the gutter and down the downspout. Any leaves or debris will either sit on the top or end up falling off the edge or getting blown off later. So this is a great way that you can reduce the number of times you have to get up there and clean those gutters. And of course the added benefit 
as what you really care about is saving money, right? With clean gutters and free-flowing downspouts, we won't have to worry about this gutter backing up and water coming off and in, getting inside the soffit here and rotting out fascia, rake board, uh, soffits, then getting inside, damaging drywall and insulation or coming down around inside this window. And this is the cause of a lot of major avoidable and expensive home repairs. So maintain those gutters and you'll save a whole lot of money in the long run. Well, thanks for watching. As always, we'd love your feedback on this video. And if you need help with gutter cleaning or a gutter repair, feel free to give us a call in the Cincinnati area at 513-724-0539. You can learn more about us at mastermylist.com. And as always, we'd love to be your friend on Facebook. Keyword, Pearl Master Craftsman. Happy remodeling.